Hello everyone, and today I want to take you through some really great hacks that will help you get so much more out of the basic chat GPT version as a researcher and student, and will help you to browse the internet, customize your instructions, or generally improve your output, and so much more. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to allow our chat GPT to browse the internet. And if you look at my interface right now, see that there's no additions, it's just the normal chat GPT version. So what we we need to do is head over to Google and we can um, just show you what I've typed in a chat GPT web extension if you can type that in and then you will click on web chat GPT with internet access okay and then you have you'll say you have an option to add this to Chrome as a plugin so we're gonna uh, click on that and add the extension Okay, now once that has been added, you can, you can now go into Chat GPT and you will notice now there's a little switch that has been added that allows me to get access to the web. So now I can enter my prompt here in the box and I'm going to write give me some recent and um, developments in the field of graduate employability. Okay, and you can specify for research if you wanted to. And I'm gonna enter that. And you can see that it's now browsing the internet and it come back with a number of trends that I can use. So the first one is shift towards digital skills and what it's done now, it's given me the source of where it's found this on the internet. And I can see this is um, a research gate publication, research and trends in the study of employability skills. It's 2017, so something that I still can use. Um, so that's really quite interesting. And I've got the full source, I've got the full article that I can use, global competence development, and then it tells me what, why this is a recent trend. And then I can click on the source again, and I can find out where it's um, taken this from, another article, and it's a systematic literature review that I can um, extract some information from. So an amazing way to get access to the latest articles to get cited sources and all through a free web extension. Okay, so let's go on to hack number two, and that is using custom instructions. And we know that we get so much better answers from ChatGPT if we give it the context and we set the stage. So instead of adding the context every single time that you ask ChatGPT a question, um, you will use a feature that is called custom instructions. And in order to do so, what you need to do is head over to where your name is on ChatGPT, and you click on that and you will select customize chat GPT. And once you open that, you will find that it has two boxes. So the first one says, what would you like chat GPT to know about you to provide better responses? And for this section, I have written out a number of things that could be useful for my research. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and I'm going to copy it in and I'm going to leave this for you in the description below. So I'm going to just take you through it, through it quickly, which says research background. I, I want to give them chat GPT information that I am conducting a qualitative research on graduate employability, focusing on the graduate employability capital model by Tomlinson as my theoretical framework. OK, so I won't need to write that every single time I ask Ch chat GPT a question. It will already have these saved in. I'm going to tell it about my methodological approach, which is involves qualitative data collection methods such as interviews, focus groups and document analysis. Um, and then here for your theoretical understanding, I require responses that align with academic rigor and theoretical grounding and then incorporating concepts from the model that I'm using and then research goals. My goal is to explore the factors influencing graduate employability and then provide insights for improving um, graduate outcomes. And then the language I want to, in English for my research paper and responses should maintain a formal academic tone. So you see, we've given it quite a lot of instructions and then every time it will provide me with a response, it will take these things into account. So if we look at what the second box asks us, it's how would you like chat GPT to respond? And so you'll see that I want it to respond. In all your responses, you will act as an expert academic researcher and writer who has over 20 years of experience. And we always know that assigning ChatGPT a role gets so much more out of it. You will find academic sources that are of high quality and that are recent. Remember, we've 
installed the web extension, so it should be able to do that now. You will uh, provide critical analysis of research findings and implications. So when we ask it to be critical, it already has that information. Man, and so you can see there's a lot of instructions that we've provided ChatGPT, and it will use this information the next time we enter a prompt. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to ask ChatGPT a question, just a general question to see if it will apply some of these points. Okay, so now that we've entered these custom instructions, um, test it and see if it's able to extract the information. And what I want to do is I'll go to a new chat so that it's not pulling the information from the existing chat. Give me five paper ideas related to my study. Okay, and I have not mentioned anything. I'm assuming that it will be able to extract that information from what I've given it. You can see here that it's come back with five different ideas, all related to graduate employability. So, for example, the first one is the impact of internships on graduate employability. Investigate how internships contribute to the development of graduate employability capital. And look, it specified the actual theoretical model that I mentioned in my custom instructions, technology and graduate employability, the role of technology. So it's quite broad, but still related to the topic that I'm looking at and how it's the digital skills acquisition um, is influencing that soft skill development cross-cultural perspectives on graduate employability. So some really interesting topic ideas, again, related to the instructions that I have already given it. Okay, so the third ChatGPT hack that we're going to look at is specifying the format that we want the output in. And this basically means that we can ask ChatGPT to give us the output in uh, bullet points in tables in a CSV file or any specific output that we require. So for example, I'm going to start here by putting a prompt, I'm going to paste that in, that says provide me the details of the GDP of the top 50 countries, their populations, and the GDP per capita and the life expectancy, and present the information in a table. And I'm going to generate that. Okay, and you can see now that it's given me the 50 countries with the information that I've requested. And I can do one of two things. I can first copy this information from the table and then open my Excel file. And then I can just paste it into the Excel file here. And then I've got all the information in a table and can I, I can use it straight away to perform any kind of analysis or I can format that table um, in any way I want. Now, the other thing I can do, sometimes I might have a large data file and I don't want to be copying and pasting it into Excel. I just like to have um, an output that is uh, a CSV file, for example. Um, so I can put in my prompt, I can write here, provide me this in CSV format. Okay, and then if I enter that, then what you'll see is ChatGPT will give me the code for that information. And now I've got all 50 countries. Now what I need to do here is I'm going to go to the top and I'm, go I'm going to copy the code. And then what I need to do now is open my notepad. Okay. And then I'll copy this uh, code in within the notepad. And then I need to save the file, save as. Here, when you come to save the file, make sure you choose all files. And then when you're naming your file, for example, I'm going to call it here countries. And then just make sure you save it as a .csv file, okay? Now, once we've done that step, okay, you can see now the file that I've saved, I can open that. And then what you'll see is that now we have the entire data that's in ChatGPT in a CSV file. So that's quite useful, again, for large data sets that you generate. Okay, so the fourth hack that you can use ChatGPT to help you with is that as a student is to help you with your analysis. So I'm going to show you a table that I have of a model that I have extracted from SPSS. And say I want to get an overview of the key insights that it's showing, and I want it to help me with my write-up. So what I can do is I can copy this model that I've uh, obtained, and then I can paste that into ChatGPT. Let's just make sure that we paste that in. Okay, and then at the top here, I'm going to write act as a, a data analyst. And I'm going to say analyze this table. Provide me with the key insights. 
Okay, and then I'm going to enter this information. And then you can see that ChatGPT, without even me specifying the statistical analysis that I want it to do, um, it has now come back with overall details into uh, insight. So first, it looks at the control variables, which are in uh, step one. It talks about the coefficient, and then it indicates R squared value, which is 0 0.033, indicated that they collectively explain 3.3% of the variance. And then it tells me about the adjusted R squared. Then the R squared indicated in control variables may not be strong strongly predictive of the dependent variable, which is absolutely fine because that's that's why they are control variables. And then we go into step two and it talks about the human capital and the coefficient is 0.728. And then um, here it tells us that the human capital explains 68.6% of the model. And then it told me that here it's really given me actually a very good write-up of the kind of um, analysis that I would be required to do with this data. And that kind of helps me look at these in my write-up for my analysis. So, so many things that you can do, and obviously you will go into more detail, but this can be like a, a guide for you when you come to do your analysis. Okay, and for our last chat GPT hack, we're going to use it to model a piece of text and ask it to give us the structure. So what I've done is I've found a journal article that I would probably want to use or maybe create a similar introduction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the introduction in the article. So let's get all of the introduction. So I've copied the introduction and I'm going to paste that into ChatGPT. And before I submit that in, I'm going to give ChatGPT this prompt. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to analyze this introduction and provide me with the headings to formulate a similar introduction. And then I'm going to enter that in. Okay, and if we look at the output, you can see that now it's given me a breakdown of the headings to formulate a similar introduction with a similar structure, an introduction to digital technologies in higher education, an overview of the integration of information technology, importance of preparing students, and then emergence of the flipped classroom models traditional versus holistic models. And then it's given me the key titles that have been used in this introduction, the benefits and challenges, the evolution of the flipped classroom model, integration of self-regulated learning, research objectives and questions. So if I was to write a similar introduction for my paper, what I would do is I would then an overview of the uh, to the main topic that I'm talking about and definition. I then would look at some of the key elements or concepts in my uh, and then I would look at some benefits. I would look at further evolution and extension of this model. And then I would then you add my research objectives and questions at the end. So very useful. And it's even better if you use it with an article that's similar in structure and content to what you want to be writing about. And that would give you that you can focus on, especially if you're writing for a journal, then what it will do is that straight away it will organize the content for you in the structure of that journal. So I hope you found these chat GPT hacks useful and you know in the comments box how you are using chat GPT for research and in your studying um, and I hope to see you in the next video.